by realizing what really interests me and what really helps me feel the most happy. Um, with my students, the whole time I've been here, caring is at the forefront of everything that I do because if a student doesn't realize that they're cared for, they're not going to perform at the potential that they are capable of. With working in graduation recovery, I am able to make sure that my students um, feel cared for and feel supported because traditionally, perhaps they haven't had that experience. So I hope to build them up and that's always been my favorite part working here. So that's why I've chosen the path I've chosen. Now, so realistically, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a chef. And, but I always really wanted to be, have a family. And the more I researched cooking, I, I love cooking, I still love cooking, but the more I researched, you know, being an executive chef at a big time restaurant, you're working very long hours, you don't really get to spend time going to your kids' basketball games or having dinner with your family. So teaching was the next best thing for me. And I feel that you should go after a career, a profession, a vocation with whatever you have that you can give to the world. And I always felt that I was a pretty charismatic person and I care about people. So I feel teaching was always really good for that. I had a generally fine path through high school, no real challenges, but college was a big, big challenge for me because I had a huge amount of culture shock going from high school to college. And I just wasn't used to being in a place where I knew no one and I wasn't the, you know, cool guy, right? So I wasn't as much popular in high school as I was just comfortable and familiar with my friend group. And I went to a place where I knew no one, and it was a big challenge for me. And once I was able to get past that and, and just get used to things and get more comfortable, college became a place that I really enjoyed. I met some friends that I was really able to, you know, have a great time with, and I'm still friends with them a lot today. So I would say that there will be challenges that you face when you go to college or whenever you graduate high school because it's going to be a sense of unfamiliarity. You haven't been in this scenario before. And with any new situation, it comes with challenges. But that's what makes us grow, that's what makes us mature. So taking those experiences head on and pushing through them is something super important. So It's definitely a long road to get to where I am now. Uh, I started at a community college because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And then I decided that I was going to go to the University of Pittsburgh to get certified to teach. Um, I had a lot of great college professors that really kind of instilled a love for history um, for me. So I decided I was going to major in history and then move on to get certified to teach. Um, from there, I decided I was going to continue my education and I was going to get my master's in curriculum. Okay, so I went to college um, at Slippery Rock. After I graduated, I worked uh, as a substitute teacher and then a long-term sub. And then that's how I found this job. Uh, after working as a long-term sub and a preschool teacher, um, I found this job and that's how I ended up here. When I went into college, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I ended up um, switching through a couple of different colleges before finding English education. And then from there, um, just going through the program and applying at some different places and interviewing with a bunch of different schools until I ended up um, at my first school district um, and then PA Distance just kind of came knocking, and <laughs> here I am. So. so when I was in high school, in elementary school, my aunt was going to IUP to get her degree in psychology. And so she spent a lot of time practicing on my brother and I and my cousins, which led me to want to work with students, want to work with kids at different ages, so that I could help them in the ways that she was helping them. So I went to Penn State for my undergrad and then I got my master's degree and I worked in Virginia for several years before moving back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.